It is Africa Tech Friday. The internet has become an integral part of our daily life. And with people spending more time online, it is important for users to be aware of the increasing threat of cyber attacks and the risks to their privacy. A public affairs section of the United, Nation, United States Consulate General in Lagos put together an event to commemorate October as Cyber Security Awareness Month, where public and private sectors and technology leaders provided tools and resources to scale up efforts to help Nigerians be safe on the internet. Public affairs sections of the United States Consulate General in Lagos commemorate October 2016 as Cyber Security Awareness Month. With a growing threat of cyber attacks, the Department of Homeland Security in the United States formed an ongoing cyber security awareness campaign known as Stop Think Connect. By joining Stop Think Connect, uh, you will have connections to partners and subject matter experts who are committed to increasing online safety. You will receive cybersecurity tips, messaging articles and presentations, and you will have access to monthly discussions uh, highlighting current cyber issues and trends. Cybersecurity Ventures, a leading tech research company in a report, forecast that the global community will lose more than $6 trillion annually by 2021. Symantec, a technology security company, also added that cybercrime has now surpassed illegal drug trafficking as a criminal money maker. And in every three seconds, someone's identity has been stolen. Lots of people, cyber thieves, hackers, can find ways to use your personal information in ways you might not expect. Be careful of clicking on links that say one thing when you look at it, but when you put your mouse over that link, that link reads something else. It can be a source of danger. It can take you to a website that you don't want to be on. That website can be taking your information. There's all kinds of things you can learn about in terms of cybersecurity. We need to equip the law enforcement agencies so that they'll be able to track, apprehend, and prosecute the cyber criminals. So they need that education, they need the tools to be able to do that. Then apart from that, there's need for sensitization, awareness, so that people will know that this thing is real and uh, we need to do something about it. Law enforcement officials expect the number of cyber crimes to increase and advise users to be more vigilant when using the internet. Well, joining us to discuss more on ways to safeguard yourself and myself on the internet is a lead consultant, lead training consultant at Didayo Adesanya. Adedayo, thank you for joining us on Network Africa. Oh, thank you for having me again. Uh, looking at cybercrime facts uh, from the reports that we just uh, showed earlier, how do we strike that balance between secure online transactions and a great online customer experience? Uh, sincerely, this is a very uh, big gray area, even for us that are uh, cyber security experts, because uh, uh, you need to be able to weigh the balance between having um, value for whatever it is that you're doing online and how to stay secure. Uh, uh, like your report earlier had rightly said, you know, um, uh, ordinary links that you see daily, uh, say for example, in a layman's language, you might see a link that says facebook.com in your email, click and once you put your mouse over it is actually something else you know and and those websites can be spilling your your um details the basic way to stay safe is to understand and have a general overview on all these little symptoms and how to stay away from them and uh, how do you monitor a personal information to determine whether it's been stolen or it is uh, being misused First things first, um, it depends on where your personal information is being used. You know, if, then, if it's not used in a way that you would notice, then you, you would never notice. It's, it's possible that your personal information from Nigeria is being used in Russia, you know, and if you don't know, you don't know. You know, until um, an issue comes up and you're being contacted, you just might never know. You know, so what matters is um, people should know what and what not to put online what where, what websites and what website and what not not to go you know and all of these things you know um all these extra giveaways on um, that pops up on the sides of your screen uh you, you should be extremely careful about those things nothing comes for free on the internet
will that also include uh, measures that you could take to protect your own personal information because you do have to give personal information online sometimes yeah yeah there uh, sometimes in in cases like that um uh, for for end users using windows like operating systems for example you can have certain um antiviruses on your computer that helps you um uh, detect if there's um going to be any breach in security that's number one number two for all the websites that will be asking for your personal information they always and always have some extra security uh, measures on um, for example you're not good there are websites that you get to that you don't really have to push your keyboards just in case you have you have something installed on your computer called a key logger that mm -hmm. records everything that you type you know for such websites they tell you to click the buttons on the screen that way it's hard for hackers or for bad uh, software to uh, record your details mm -hmm. so any website that really has to uh, pick up your details already has uh, security measures in place Adedaya, it's been a pleasure having you on Network Africa. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Bye. Stay with us on Network Africa. Up ahead, the UN identifies which countries have made the most migrants crossing the Mediterranean.